Well, I went on and made a Vivaldi board. And uh, if you don't know what a Vivaldi board is, it is generally just a box. Uh, it has some vent holes in it. And uh, it's designed to be the inner cover, but with a little more ventilation so that in winter time, you put burlap in here and the condensation that's produced from the heat of the bees comes up into the board, gets absorbed by the burlap, and as the air passes through the board, it evaporates and keeps the bees dry. Otherwise, what happens is you have all the condensation build up on the inner cover and drip down on the bees, and then you got some cold bees. So I'm hoping to put a board on both hives. Um, now, I had a little problem when I built the board. I didn't take my uh, I didn't make my measurements properly, so after I was all finished, uh, I went to put the cover on it, and it covered up my vent holes. So if I cover the uh, if I cover the vent holes, it won't work properly. So I took one of my old lids, or I took an old lid, and I trimmed it so that it didn't cover the vent holes. Now what I'm going to do today is I'm going to put this on this hive and I'm not going to do anything with this hive. Uh, I'm going to take this lid home with me, I'm going to trim it down, and I'll bring it out and put it on the next time I come out here. Now, I've been trying to get out here every week, but it doesn't seem to be working. So it's been about two weeks now. I would have liked to have gotten here last weekend, I just didn't make it. So we're going to get into this hive first, check them out and then we'll install the Vivaldi board after we're done inspecting the hive. All right, we'll pop this off. There's not a lot going on in this frame. They do have some honey. And they're still filling this with nectar. And they're filling that with some nectar as well. Um, they build a little bit more comb, but not a whole lot. Nectar and pollen and the queen is up here. on the last frame. We're filling that with, with nectar as well.
So we'll put them back together. Now I'm not really seeing any brood, but she should be slowing down. It has been getting colder at night. Um, past couple weeks haven't been that warm. Pretty soon, we're not going to be doing an inspection. But we'll be leaving them alone for the winter. And now we're gonna get into this hive. This hive is uh, gonna be a little harder to open because it has no inner cover. That's a decent amount of nectar and pollen in this frame. And some capped honey. It feels a little heavier than the ones from the other hive. And the same thing. I'm seeing nectar and I'm seeing pollen, a little bit of honey. I'm not really seeing a lot of dr or any drones. I'm not seeing any brood. I think there may be more bees in this hive than in the other one. They seem to have more stores in this hive and the queen is over here. bit of honey stores a little bit more comb a lot more honey on there And some more honey on this one as well. And the last frame is empty. So let's put them back together. Now, the thing about the Vivaldi board is there's screen over top of the center hole and there's screen over top of the vent holes so that 
the bees can't come into this box. Um, I am going to make a rim to go inside here so that I can put some uh, uh, fondant or some sugar so that in the winter they have something to feed on if they need it. But right now I'm just putting the burlap and the lid. So there's not a lot of progression. Um, I'm gonna take this lid with me and I'm going to trim it down and bring the other Vivaldi board out. Um, I know I should have been feeding them, but I wanted to see how they do without being fed. Now, that hive seems like it has more bees in it and is doing better. Uh, this hive seems a little weak. We're gonna have to see what they do as time progresses and see how they're making out in the spring. I will be giving them uh, sugar, whether it be dry sugar or a fondant, and I'll be doing that soon. I might also put a feeder out in the field so that they can still collect something as the weather starts to drop. So, like, share, and subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching.